Hi, let's take a look at the layer processing options in Spectral Layer Pro 7. So I have unmixed components, this song here. So I've got tonal, I've got transient, and noise layers. Now under process, I can have different options available to me. So for example, if I select the sections, first I would select the layer. Let's say I would select the noise layer here. And using a selection tool, I would, let's say, um, grab this section here. And let's say I want to remove noise from that section or create silence or generate silence. I can just select under process, generate silence. It will give me adjustable parameters, such as start parameters in seconds and length. I'll just uh, go with what we have here. And it just selected silence if I, and solo. You still see the other layers, you still see the tonal layer which and change, transient layer and change, and the noise. Now, under process, I can also generate a tone. So, if I want to generate a tone in here, I've got different options triangles, uh, square wave, uh, can adjust the level, the offset, start length, frequencies I'm working on, and I can preview this and say, yeah, I love that in that section here. Now, of course, yeah, I can always undo this. I can also go under process and generate noise for these sections. So I have different noise option, white noise, pink noise, brown noise. Let's go with pink noise. Um, of course, uh, level in DB, you've got offset options, start length. Again, we can preview this and say yeah sure uh, we want that in there and now we have noise on that layer so if i and solo this layer here you could still see the noise in the background on that layer here now let's just find a different selection let's just go and let's right click here use frequency range and we're gonna use this frequency and it's gonna be the transient this layer here transient layer and under process we're going to go ahead and adjust more gain so if we can adjust a little bit more gain we can preview this to make it obvious we're going to increase the gain of 24 db we can also bypass it to hear the difference and we can also process it we'll just process it and now you can see it's a lot brighter because it's 24 db of gain applied to that selected region now, uh, other options under processes, uh, we, can, we have a channel mixer we can use, so we can balance more level to the left or the right channel. In this case, it's a stereo file. We also have an imprint option, imprint a layer onto another layer. Now, let's take a look at noise reductions. So for noise reduction, we're going to select a different layer. We're going to use the uh, noise layer, which has solo here. We're going to use the uh, lasso tool, selection tools. And what we're doing here is selecting regions uh, with noise that we want to remove from that la selected layer. So from there, we can hear that noise. We're going to uh, go to process and reduction noise, register noise. So essentially taking a um, sample of that noise we want to remove from that layer. So under noise reduction, we can now noise noise reduction. We have different uh, option tolerance, adjustable tolerance, um, and adjustable reduction ratio, and we can uh, reduce noise or signal. Now from there we can preview or just apply it to the selected layer. Next we have the reverb reduction option, which allows you to analyze the reverb tail of the selected layer. Now you have uh, different parameters you can adjust uh, and basically to minimize the artifacts when you're removing that reverb tail from that selected layer. So we have a reverb threshold, we have reverb link, and of course you can preview again and just apply the process to the selected layer, right? And of course we can always undo everything we've done. It's a non-destructive process here. And hum reduction is a very similar process where it will have different suggestions for the selected frequency for 50 hertz frequency will suggest it will analyze the, the piece and give you different adjustment for each harmonic. 
We have a click repair options, so allows you to reduce pops and clicks for the selected layer. We also have a clip repair to reconstruct a clipping signal. And uh, we also have the assessor and voice denoiser as well. And finally, you can uh, use a VST3 effect, which would be classify. You can scan your computer and it will scan all your VST3. And you can just open them directly from Spectral Layer Pro 7.